Shalom, brothers and sisters. Your enemies can't believe their eyes. They never thought that you would be on top. Here's what you got to understand. They hate you because you're doing better than them. Hit that like button right now if you know the enemy hates you because you're doing better than them. Yeah. See, and evidence and truth of this message here is they never gave you support. Your own blood never gave you support. They never helped you out. You want to know why? It's because they was afraid of you passing them up. Somebody put down in the comment section below, it's too late. It's too late. Why? Because you're in first place. Yeah. That race that you started where they gave you fake love in the beginning, where they clap for you, they ain't clapping no more. Hit that like button right now if they ghosted you. Hit that like button right now if they ghosted you. If they ain't clapping for you no more in the beginning, they was clapping for you. In the beginning, they was giving you that fake love, that celebration. Why? Because they thought in their minds you weren't going nowhere. But the moment that God started loving you up, amen, the moment that God started making you successful, they got in their feelings and they backed off. They became a hater. Fake. Hit that like button right now if your enemies became haters. When they start seeing those blessings hit your life. I'm going in. It's a real video. Amen. You're going to find them real messages on this channel because I be giving you that real daily, brothers and sisters. You know I'm keeping it real with you. Listen. So they can't stand you right now because your life is much better than theirs. I'm not just talking about financially. I'm talking about joy. Oh, my God. Listen, if the enemy disturbed you, disturbed your peace in any kind of way, and God has given you perfect peace, hit that like button right now. If you got your joy back, if you're smiling and you're laughing again, where the enemy tried to disturb you, sabotage you, smear campaign your name, drag you through the mud, and it was times in your life where you were so broke down, it was times in your life where you were so depressed. It was times in your life where you were so anxious. You didn't even know what to do, which way to go. And God restored you. If God restored you, hit that like button right now. And somebody put down in the comment section below, God restored me. See, the enemy hate that God restored you. They would rather see you begging. Amen. They would rather see you begging them for support. But because you don't need them, because you made it on your own with God's help. Amen. They big mad. But here's what you got to understand about this enemy. They want to see you lose it all. Yeah. That's the truth. Right now, the enemy has come together to send, send out weapons against your life. Weapons of witchcraft. Yeah. Against your destiny. Somebody put down in the comment section below. No weapon formed against my life shall prosper. See, God has given you double. Some of you right now might not have received your double. But I want you to know through this message, you're going to see why the enemy is after you. They don't want you to get this double. But I want you to know about these weapons that the enemy is sending against your life. Because they don't want to see you doing better than them. Let's go straight to scripture. Isaiah 54, 17 says this. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. That is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. No weapon. No weapon that they form is going to prosper against you. I want you to believe that, brothers and sisters. I know your life has got better. Amen. A lot of you, some of you didn't even, you know, know where these weapons was coming from. But God is revealing everything to you right in front of your eyes. And when God show you the truth, you need to believe it. Because the enemy is trying to sneak you. The enemy is trying to snake you out of your blessings. Here's why they're jealous. Here it is. Isaiah 61, 7 says this, <clears throat> for your shame, ye shall have double and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in the land, they shall possess the double and everlasting joy be unto them. God has given you everlasting joy. And God's going to give you double for your trouble. They hate that you're doing better than them. 
They can't stand the fact that God keep on blessing you. They can't stand the fact that you have everlasting joy. See, joy is that medicine for the soul. Oh my God, that's powerful. Love is what you have in your heart. And all your enemies is filled with hate, jealousy, and envy. They can never be you. And they're so miserable and upset and mad that God keep on blessing you. They hate the fact that you're doing better than them. Financially, spiritually, emotionally, amen, in every way. And you got joy. Some people hate you because you smile. Some people hate you because that joy that you have inside. But they can't stop you. And this is what frustrates them. A group going to come together to try to stop you. And they going to all fall. Because every pit that they dig for you, they going to fall in that pit. I want you to know that it's returned to the sender on the enemy's head a thousandfold up.